Back in the days, such jobs as motor mechanics, spray painting and panel beating were never taken up by women, worse off persons with disabilities. Our guest today, Mashia Mandija, has taken a stance to be a game changer in a male-dominated industry despite a disability. Welcome to yet another exciting edition of Proudly Able, a program that brings to you inspiring stories of persons with disabilities. My name is Rati Zomchairi and today we are in Shitungwiza. Sit back, relax and get inspired. My name is Masha Mandija. I'm 23 years old. I'm born in a family of three, one brother and one younger sister, both with albinism. Um, when I was born, I was told that my dad was very furious. He shouted at my mom and even accused her that uh, the pregnant and the baby doesn't belong to him. And then after some years, they had my younger sister and also she was born with albinism and my dad ran away and he said these are not my children after 13 years he then came back and reconciled with his family and then also tried to have a baby and he had my little brother that is in ecdb he with also albinism that's when he began to accept that these are his genes and uh, we are his children then Unfortunately, Persons with albinism suffer discrimination, marginalization, bullying, violence, and ritual killings around the world. Masia grew up in a society that did not accept albinism and suffered a lot of discrimination. When I was still in primary school, things were very difficult. You know, there was a time that I could refuse to go to school. I remember when I was in grade three, I, I went to school and I had, I couldn't see, you know, people with albinism, our sight is too small. So I couldn't see, and then I requested to sit in the front at school. And people used to call me half eye because I could not see well. They used to call me half eye until uh, my grandmother came to school and she asked the headmaster so that he could talk to the whole children in school. And they came to understand that I was born like that, but they didn't still accept it. They would laugh at me. They would say, um, what do they say it in Shona? They would say, Agamenua. And it would really touch me so much that I'm just like everyone else. Why are people mistreating me? And, you know, it was very difficult as a child that you see others playing football, you want to be involved, and your skin just doesn't allow you. <laughs> Even when I sit in the bus, you know, somebody would change their seat. Even if I drink water, someone would would want the water, but they would look at me and they would be like, now I can share a cup with you. It was so much painful that you try to be good to people, they just don't accept you. The community just didn't accept me. When I went to high school, I remember there, were, there was this other group of children that used to discriminate. I used to sit alone in the front until a girl 
that was an advocate came to our school and educated the crowd and they came to understand that I'm just like one of them. So I was very, very down those days. I couldn't just concentrate on work, school work. I couldn't do a lot of things because I used to tell myself that I'm less. But when that advocate came to school, I came to a point where I told myself that I can, I will, and I will do it. I stood up for myself and I started answering back. I started teaching them and advocating and tell them that it's only the pigma and the genes that are different, but we are the same. Paris, you know, challenges Especially my lotions, they were never a good to us. Sorry, me among my challenges and sang and sirage, good to a end of which war can I go to a way to Zakura Makaganaka since in any single parent and dream on animal challenges work at Siani, Dinish, Ruiz, Agat, Oshana Sugar, and a BP. Besides a passion in panel building and spray painting. Masha is also an advocate in disability issues and a preacher as well. Apparently, I am studying towards panel beating, spraying and painting. Also, I'm doing a diploma in counseling with Oxford as the satellite. I'm also an advocate, advocating for young people with disabilities, sexual education, gender norms and values, as well as I'm a voluntary at Young Life. It's a Christian organization and I'm also currently working with Teen Rescue Mission where we take out teenagers from whatever situations that they've been through and we give them another chance. And we also advocate against drug and substance abuse. I'm also an actress. Uh, if you remember the move Life of Regrets, I was the aunt uh, produced by Niza Boom. And I'm also an MC and I'm a preacher. Confidence and self-esteem that Mashia has, has made her to become who she is today. We're taking a short break. Stay tuned. Welcome back to our second segment of Proudly Able. Mashia was bold enough to take up a course in panel beating and spray painting, despite lack of support from her family and friends. Some of you might be wondering why did I go on to choose a men's um, course that women ladies, they don't want to be involved in panel beating. They just think it's so hard and, you know, mm, finding women in panel beating is just, it's just something very weird and strange and people want to understand why. So the reason I chose to do panel beating, spraying and painting is because I want to break the barrier. That when people say panel beating mechanics, it's only for men. If you are a person, you can do it. Anything in this world that a person needs to do, you can do it, either a woman or a man. So I currently, um, I chose to do panel beating because I want to break this barrier that it's only for men. I want to show the world that even women can do it and panel beating is pain and I'm enjoying, I'm hoping in the future that when I'm done with my course uh, in December I'll be going for attachment. After attachment I'm hoping to open Marcia's panel beaters. In the backyard I'll be having Marcia's panel beaters. In the front there will be a bar and the shisanyama. You know, those who love to bribe you will be coming to Masha Sisa Nyama. And then on the other side, I'll push the car wash again. We enrolled uh, Masha as one of our disadvantaged students. And uh, she came for a course in panel beating and spray painting. A course which is a male dominated uh, course, but uh, she's enjoying uh, doing a course. At one time, she wanted to drop out of the course because of uh, health reasons. 
but uh, she then uh, found ways to cope with the health, health challenges that she was facing and now she's enjoying the course and she's doing it very well. She intends to start her own entrepreneur uh, after completing the course because when we teach them the skills of the ends, we also teach them uh, the entrepreneurship skills so that if they fail to find the jobs out there, uh, they can also start their own enterprises. We are very happy that I'm working with Masia, empowering with the skill of hands and minds, especially she's in industry where it's male dominated in panel beating and spray painting. She has got a, a goals that she wish to achieve. As I interviewed her, uh, when she came here, she told me that she wants to start her old garage, including a car wash. She's doing very well, she's working with other guys, uh, with other also female ladies in panel beating and spray painting. I wish you the best. Can I choose a put a panel beating? I don't want to lie, guys. At first, it was a difficult decision to make. You know, when you're growing up, you just see ladies in saloons, you just see them doing nails, you just see them cooking and doing catering. But then I came to see, as I was growing up with this barrier, this thing, that women are being discriminated, I need to go and get involved. So when I told my family about it, they gave me my second thoughts and they actually went against my idea. Then I spoke to my bigger sisters and everyone was like, no, 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 you can't go for that cause and stuff. And then moving on ahead, I then chose to just come. At first, no one would believe that I was doing panel meeting, even my own mom. She used to say, you need to rethink again. At least, I can not go to this kind of job is not in our room. But now, in these days, there are a lot of girls like Masia. She's the one. She's very intelligent and the and in spite of the fact that I want to be a discriminator, but here is the fact that I want to be a and she's very friendly. She works very hard. No shanda on a mashia mandisha. It's no shandy to Sharanaka in the Muna Guti in the Kona and Guta Saruts in the Muna no da Basaraki and any Arutas Rose attachment in Chi Kumberi Chipur. Negutis like he passed a course at a guy choose a. You know, to re cause in the nature challenge, but we are a center, a training college uh, that empowers the young people through teaching them skills of the ends, skills of the mind, and skills of the soul so that they live with a purpose. So, as we do that, we target the disadvantaged uh, young people from the community. When these are disadvantaged in various ways, it could be an economic disadvantage as they were growing up, or an educational disadvantage, or even a health disadvantage. So when we recruit those people for training, uh, we train them in various courses, uh, ranging from solar technology, baking, catering, panel beating and spray painting, building, carpentry, uh, electronics, uh, catering, and so on. Panapa, we are removing shine. This car wants to go for repaint, but this car in a Madens Akawanda, you see, you can notice there are many dents in this car. So we are we are just removing the shine after that. Madens I apply body filler. Then after applying body filler to a vis, to a question as a naga smooth, to vataisa primer, then after primer, you by end up painting with in a ready to be painted. So for now, in any guys, and now once I quit, to prepare a motor, to apply a body filler, Negu Vandai Kweshera foot. But I'm learning good um, in the hoping after this course, Chero Mune Motor Zenu, Mune Makuya Kumashi of Panu Beaters, Nida Kwasok Pendera. Patients with albinism have sensitive skins, 
Hence, they use sunscreen lotions to prevent sunburns, which can result in skin cancer. My lotions and lotions are anodura. I use Nivea 50 plus, which is my solar cards. And it's not dura. It's much more expensive. So we sometimes pack a piece of sterex, sterex. No baby, every time I need to go one room spray booth because tininga is running it's nyanya. But if I have my lotions, to no go my applier, then do vanda toya kubasa. Destroy wa basa rangu shaganaka. Nothing will affect me. Mashia foresees herself in the future having her own workshop that comprises of Mashia car wash, Mashia panel beating and spray painting, Mashia chisanyama. We're taking another short break. Stay tuned. Welcome back to our third and final segment of Proudly Able, where we're still being inspired by Mashia Mandija, who has shown great passion in the work that she's doing. She needs our support for her to reach her full potential. The challenges that I'm currently facing and I would need assistance with uh, is safety shoes, safety clothing, compressor, I need drill, I need grinder, I also need a tools box and as well as a sunglasses for my eyes. I cannot see properly at times and I might be affected by the sun or the grinder and any and um, a buffing machine as well as I need a laptop for assignments. I need to read, I need to write assignments and do quotations. My challenge is especially for my sunglasses. We see one English I say it will be my sunglasses especially <laughs> It's almost $90 per month. Dating is another challenge persons with disabilities face. Men usually take advantage of women with disabilities for their selfish gains. When it comes to dating as a person with disability or as a woman that is with albinism, guys, it's not an easy job and it's not an easy tackle. You know, when somebody convinced you and they say I will love you I want to be with you I want to spend my life with you those guys most of them they are liars they just want to feel and test some of them they say I just wanted to test how how it feels to be with a person with albinism some of them they just do it they believe but uh, and if a person with, with is with HIV if they sleep with a woman that is that is albinism um, and some of them, they believe with people with albinism, they are lucky. So people believe that if I date a person with albinism, I will be lucky in life and I will be successful. So they just date for, what can you say, for benefits, not because they love you. Some of them, they just want to see how does it feel, you know, experiencing it on the ground. That's what they just want. Um, talking from my, uh, my, my experience, guys, I used to date this guy, you know, I was so much deep in it, like, you know, when you get in a relationship, all your mind, your nails, your legs, everything just feel like, ah, I'm in love, you know, we had plans and stuff. And then, boom, one day, he just walks up and told me, could he, his family thinks I'm less for him. But I felt, could he, it was actually him saying that I'm less for him. Mashia is inspired by Beatrice Munemo. Whose story is that of from rags to riches? In Zimbabwe, I would say my inspiration is Beatrice Munemo. Um, Beatrice Munemo, she inspired me through her story. She was a street mother. People used to say, 
since she was impregnated at school, she has no future. But Aka break at the barrier and she exposed herself out to the world. Now at home transport and logistics and she is a manager and she's doing a life for So she inspired me a lot and she gave me the challenge of saying no matter what you're going through, there is tomorrow. And outside the world, uh, a lady that inspires me so much is Joyce Mayer. Joyce Mayer, whatever she does, she breaks the barriers. And Olinda Marova also inspires me with whatever they are doing. Those guys, they've done great in life. And they motivate me so much because I can still face tomorrow. I can still face tomorrow and I can do it. Masha's holiday destination of choice is the Victoria Falls. In Zimbabwe, guys, I would want to go to Big Falls. Yes, you know in Big Falls, the, the nature of Big Falls, the pool, the running pool, the water, you know, the Mosia Tunya, the animals, everything about Big Falls is just unique. I would love to go to Victoria Falls and experience the nature and the beauty of Zimbabwe. When it comes to music, Masha is uplifted by gospel music, especially from the Charambas. When it comes to music, I'm more inspired and I love gospel music. Um, the reason why I love gospel music is it's so touching. It has ways that are tangible. You know, it's not just those things, I'm a duducha and stuff. It's, it's something that is tangible, you know, something that can change your life. So in Zimbabwe, I would go and choose the charampas. The charampas, whenever they sing, there is something about them that you feel. They have changed my life since I was a child. They've, uh, you know, there's the song that they said, They said, You know, that song, the universal winner, everything about their songs, you know, it's something that is tangible, something that is traced, something with evidence. They sing about real life, they sing about the Bible. And um, when it comes to this uh, dance music, I would go with Freeman. Freeman is a good musician. He does his music with passion. Discrimination, stigmatization, and violation of one's rights starts within the family. Hence, Masha is calling upon parents of children with disabilities to love and expose them to the world out there. Parents out there, stop violating your children. Allow them to breathe give them the breathing space, expose them out there, let them see how the world looks like. Because as long as you keep them in the house and you think they are babies, they will remain a burden. But allow them to go out and do what they can do. I assure you, whatever disability that they are in, they can still go on and pursue their careers. There are people who are sitting on wheelchairs that can play rugby. There are people who are on wheelchairs that can do mechanics. There are people like me, with albinism, that can do panel beating. So anyone can do anything. Allow your children to go out and be exposed. Let them face the reality of the nation and they can go far. My shokongi ukuru tira kuni mama parents wa niwa na wanima disabilities. Dey kuti sus seva bere kingati gamshireva na wedu se jawari. Indengati wa pay support. Tisa wa ita kuwa ziki sira kuwa torera pasi. I told people that racism and discrimination is not good because somebody might commit suicide after what you do to them. Some might, might just deny themselves for the rest of their lives and they would never face the crowd. But I stood up and I became the game changer. I told the crowd, I spoke to them, I made them understand that no matter your condition, you can do it and you need to stand up and fight. I stood against my dad, I stood against my parents, this family, everyone. I stood for myself and here I am today, live and kicking, and I'm the game changer. There is no one that doesn't know about Masha, everybody knows. I have a little challenge like in Masha, I have a little organism, so she thinks that I have a little bit of a because of that, because of that, I have a little bit of a but I am saying no. 
Kana ba like it yangu Africa. Watu sarudi ya kusi yangu yugen bi. One of those people is successful in life. Don't go encourage your ladies out there. There is nothing that you cannot do. As long as you start believing in yourself, believing in yourself is the first step. The second step is to strike towards what you believe in. So you aim straight and you don't miss the target. So ladies out there, I want to encourage you. There is nothing in this world that is meant for men. If you are a lady, if you are just passionate and you are ready to break the barriers, there is nothing that can stop you. If you are a person with albinism, as long as you have your lotions, you put on protective clothes, you are ready to go. Gender or disability should not be a limitation to one's success in life. With that, we have come to the end of this edition of Proudly Able. Hope you've been inspired by Marcia's story. If you've got a story that you'd like to share with us, please feel free to get in touch with our producers on 0717-459292. And don't forget to like our Facebook page, Proudly Able Zim. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Proudly Able Zim. From me, Ratizom Chairi, Mashia Mandija, the crew behind the scenes, stay blessed. Goodbye. Goodbye.